Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the FinTech Times. We are here in Cybos 2022 in the beautiful Amsterdam in the Netherlands, and I'm very, very happy to be joined by Symbian's Mark Smith, the co-founder and CEO. How are you, Mark? I'm wonderful, Tyler. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to talk to FinTech. Thank you. Thank you very much for, for taking the time out of your busy day. I realize you're, you're extremely busy here at Cybos. Uh, what are you making of uh, the event so far? I'm having a great time. This is my second Cybos, and I think this one is, is, is substantially more interesting and exciting. Okay. Not great. just because we're part of it, but I think there's a buzz in the air. People want to be back together. Yeah. People want to talk about innovation. It's a great time to be in fintech. They do, and there's so many, so many big players here, uh, yourselves included. So um, everybody's sort of come together in this really nice way, and uh, not a Zoom camera in sight either, <laughs> which is quite refreshing. Um, before we go on, Mark, we, we've got a lot to discuss, um, but I'm just conscious that our viewers uh, will be uh, wanting to know a little bit more about yourself and about Symbian. So why don't you uh, give us an insight into what, what the company is? Symbian was born out of the financial crisis. Not this one, but the last one. <laughs> <laughs> and really inspired to develop common market infrastructure to solve really deep and vexing problems in financial markets. And mm. we chose to use blockchain and smart contract technology to do so. Really looking in a different way to apply that technology. Mm. And we've been able to partner with some amazing domain experts like Swift and identify problems that have been in markets for decades and look to solve them in a very new and unique way. Mm. And what's really exciting about it is that it's done via community. It's common market infrastructure. Mm. We're all working together to solve these problems that previously we couldn't until this amazing new technology came along. Fantastic. Well, what, what, a, what, a, what an opener. Thank you very much for that. Um, you mentioned a little bit about common market infrastructure there. Uh, can you just explain to me, if we just go back a little bit, what the role of the blockchain is in the common market infrastructure? Absolutely. Historically, we've looked at technology on a vendor-client relationship, mm. really creating these walled gardens of, of interesting solutions, but, but a lot of times bespoke and a lot of times driven more by the vendor than the client. Mm. As we transitioned into the world of platform innovation, I think the biggest innovation in platform has been the advent of blockchain technology. And although it started with a paper uh, written by an unknown person to create Bitcoin, mm -hmm. it inspired the idea that we can create these networks. And these networks can be used by every participant in the market. And instead of different participants getting different pieces of data or a different snapshot of the marketplace, mm -hmm. we now all can have the same data at the same time. Mm -hmm. And a copy of that data, which is a golden record, so that we know we can act on that data in a way in which we're confident that the outcomes are gonna be correct. Mm -hmm. And historically, we weren't able to do that. And so when you talk about common market infrastructure, what you're really talking about is a network and allowing any potential participant to join. And from our perspective, those participants are regulated financial institutions that are rooted in compliance, that need to be able to apply those rules to solutions and be able to collaborate with not only vendors, but competitors and create this concept of coopetition sitting on a network where we can all drive to solutions mm -hmm. with problems historically that you might not even want to solve because there's not a lot of value in solving them independently. Mm -hmm. But if they're not solved, there's a lot of punishment for not solving them. Yeah. And these are the common problems and common market infrastructure solves them. Fantastic, what an answer. Um, you touched upon competition. I mean, I, first of all, I love that word, competition. We use it maybe a bit too liberally in uh, <laughs> the FinTech Times. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but um, you, you've really done well to emphasize sort of why common market infrastructure works so well when so many people are engaged with it. As you said, it's sort of like a network, right? So how can we encourage more of the industry's players to, to engage in this common market network? The best way to do it is mm. to identify real problems. Mm. And what we've seen, I think, in the dot-com revolution and now in sort of the blockchain revolution is early stages. You have these new solutions that may not be purpose-built, but they're built anyway. And then they start looking for a problem. Mm. It's the hammer and nail problem, which is also used a lot in fintech, right? Mm. So many of these platforms are hammers looking for a nail. What you really need to do is identify the problem set and not as the vendor, not as the fintech company, mm -hmm. but the domain expert that wakes up every day and experiences that pain. 
and allow them to collaborate to a solution. And a solution that won't just benefit one, but will benefit many. And that's where blockchain technology has really shown itself to be of massive value. And I think what we'll see is over time, there'll be less of the thought of, well, is that on a blockchain, right? Just like we don't say, well, we, that's on the internet. Mm. It's just assumed now, right? That's just ubiquitous infrastructure that we all use. Eventually, we want Symbi to be introduced as a fintech company that just so happens to use blockchain technology to solve these big problems. Fantastic. Um, in, in the beginning of our, of our interview, you mentioned you, you did a little bit of a pilot program with Swift. Is that right? Um, Absolutely. Can you tell us a bit more about, about that program and what you achieved through it? Sure. Mm -hmm. So who would have thought that boring corporate actions would create so much buzz and excitement? <laughs> <laughs> and I think that that really shows how big of a problem this is. You know, I've talked to people who have been in the market since the 80s. Mm -hmm. And they are telling me that since the 80s, people have been saying, oh, yes, corporate actions is a problem and we're going to solve it. Mm -hmm. But yet, it still hasn't been solved. And it's one of those problems where there's no value proposition for one institution to solve it. Mm -hmm. But there's massive problems when they're, when, when they're not solved. Mm -hmm. So by partnering with Swift, which is already a network across the marketplace, already has connectivity into all these major players, and to be able to take Swift as a partner and apply those problems to our solution set in a blockchain serves two potential outcomes. One, we solve the problem of corporate actions, but two, we're also introducing blockchain technology to a new group of users, removing that stigma and fear. And we're not talking anything about tokens or speculation or digital assets. We're simply saying, hey, here's a tool mm -hmm. that without it, for 30 plus years, we haven't been able to solve corporate actions. And now with it, we've solved it. Wow, well, that's a really, really good news to hear from, from such a, su a successful program. Uh, in terms of what else is happening at Symbiant, you've, you've recently undergone a rebranding, if I'm, if I'm correct. Can you, can you tell me about what your rebranding says about your company identity? And more importantly, what exciting projects are you taking forward with your new identity? So we're very excited about the evolution of, of Symbian and, and, and how the world will see us. And, mm -hmm. and it really represents the evolution of the company itself, growing from a teeny little fintech that was taking a lot of risk to build something that may or may not work, mm -hmm. to a company that now has built an amazing platform. We were able to bring in one of the best CMOs on the street, Sylvia DeVee, and she was able to look at what we're doing and say, well, you know, here are places in which Symbian's brand already resonates, and here are places in which we need to add additional value to bring in more participants. And so by updating um, our look and feel, by adding the little block icon, we're, we're, we're demonstrating that we're now a platform. We're now here to solve these problems. We're no longer a speculative startup that's trying to do something. We're actually mm -hmm. an active platform that is really in the marketplace. And we're creating this 360 degree holistic market where all those different pieces of solutions will start to interplay with one another. So it's mm. that corporate actions solution will eventually lead to outcomes in other parts of the market and that network effect will allow it to be seamless. Fantastic. Well, um, it sounds like you've done a really, really great job in, in finding your new identity as a business and really establishing yourself and having an ambition that's, that's true to what you want to do. In terms of um, your attendance at Cyboss, obviously it's, it's very, very busy <laughs> and there's a lot of people here. Um, but I was just wondering, you know, why, why have you come to Cyboss? What are you hoping to get out of it uh, this week? Well, first and foremost, we're here to support our partner, Swift. Mm. Right? We really believe that when you engage in this way, you're not just creating a client-vendor relationship. You're creating a very deep, long-lasting partnership because mm. networks last for a very long time. They become entrenched. So certainly, f from a partnership perspective, Swift is extremely important. And then, you know, quite frankly, all of Swift members are potential customers of ours. So not only do we want to make sure we, we partner, you know, service our partner, we also want to go talk to new potential clients, those that can join this existing pilot, or those who want to see the results of the pilot as we take it into production. And that's crucial. You, you invest in these kind of things like Cybos because we don't want innovation for innovation's sake. We don't want to solve the problem in a pilot, but never make it a product in which everyone can have access to. Mm. So this helps us find that bridge from, okay, this was the innovation and this is what we did, to letting the world know that we've done this. And now we want to tell the world the next step is join us, 
to productize this and really drive it home for you to use as a solution for the long term. So Cybos is a great investment for our team to come. You know, as a small fintech, we got the opportunity to speak, we got the opportunity to network, mm -hmm. and we have the opportunity to bring our brand forward to people maybe outside the United States who didn't know us. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of value here, and we'll certainly be back next year when it goes to Canada. Oh, fantastic. Well, Mark Smith of Symbiont, it's been really, really great to speak to you uh, today, and thank you so much for joining me. Tyler, thank you so much. It's thank a pleasure. You. Anytime.